Hi, it's Chickamat1 again. Um, for this trick, um, it's called Fred, I think. Not my dog or anything, it's just called Fred. Um, and no, well, we won't be using that good a deck. Nope. Nope, still lower. Still a worse deck. Still a worse deck. It's not even these pile of rubbish cards. We are going to be using this. Brought off a cruise liner. It actually handles pretty well. Yeah? He's sniggering out there. Actually handles alright for a deck brought on a cruise. Well, given away for free on a cruise. Okay. Um, basically, I'll show you the trick. They can think of any card. Um, let's say they think of the Seven of Diamonds. Okay. We say to them, okay. What was your, uh, well, we go through the deck, what was your card? And they said the seven of diamonds, and we just go through looking for the seven of diamonds. Simple as A, B, C, Do, Re, Mi. Found their card, the seven of diamonds. Okay. We say to them, right, so you could have cho picked any card in the in the deck. You said, oh, before this you should have said, uh, I'll name your card Fred. So I said, I'll name your card Fred. This is your card. It's also Fred. The only one in the whole deck with the name Fred. Um, you could say to them, well, we could do this. In, well, the second time would spoil the effects. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this as well. So think of another card. Um, Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades. Go through the deck. Actually, we'll pick another card. Um, Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. Go through the deck. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. There we go, it's the top card, okay. Um, so we'll take their card, Queen of Hearts. Okay, um, you say we called it Fred, and guess what? It's called Fred. And yes, that is Fred. Really card in the deck called Fred. Okay, now I'm going to show you how this trick works. Um, now, uh, I've not gone mad. I'm using the, this deck of cards for because I did not want to ruin my other deck. It looks all normal there, but if we spread these out, you can see that every single one, well, half of the deck, okay, the bottom half of the deck has Fred written on the back, okay. So you just have to take half of the deck, put Fred, you have to have the whole deck, and I put the jokers in there just in case I tried to catch you out. See what I mean? And basically, you just get them to. Yeah, so you put write Fred on the back of half of the cards, which go on the bottom, and Fred on the face of the other half. Okay? Of all the cards. Place them on top, and we're ready to begin. Uh, basically, what we do is you can spread them out like this if you've done the fan and they're good enough cards to do this, or you can go through like this. Just being careful not to show the faces. If you go through them fast enough, they shouldn't notice that they've got anything written on the face. Like if I go through this, probably don't notice anything on the face, even though I'm showing basically all the card. But if you're doing it slow, make sure you only show the corners. I, I'd only show the corners anyway. Get them to think of a card. Okay. Now you look through the deck. Um, let's say they pick Jack of Diamonds. Okay. Look through the deck. Okay. Now, you're looking to see whether it's in the top or bottom half. Okay. This is in the top half, okay? Um, normally have a, you normally want a card which uh, sing, um, symbolises when the bottom half and the top half stop. So that's their card. Now, to do this, you have to sort of... I don't, I don't know. I went like this and took out their card without showing its face because this has got the face you can either go like that put it down or find some just go like this maybe but you've got the other face here so you have to be careful of that that's probably the best way to do it close it up and say oh you have to say I've called your card Fred before that sorry I keep forgetting and then you just go there it is Fred uh, we'll do it again another try uh, 
And so they do pick the Ace of Spades this time. Ace of Spades, there we go. You can show the full face of the card, and you don't want to perform this more than once because you they want you want them to think that they have ch you've written the card that they will choose beforehand. Okay. Oh yeah, when you're doing magic, always try and make them believe that you've actually done it in some odd, amazing way, rather than it's just a trick. Yeah. So if you can always build a story, that's brilliant. Anyway, so you show that, place it down, to grab the deck, and then go, oh, I'll call your card Fred, and it's called Fred. Okay, and um, that was a very simple card trick. I'll tell you what, this deck isn't as worse as this deck. This is probably my worst deck that I've got. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to use this to um, reveal another card trick um, by JJ. I think I might do because um, you need to fold up the cards for this for the uh, effect that I want to do so I might do that because these are no good cards and they're bridge size I don't like bridge size cards anyway I'm ranting on a bit um, have a nice day uh, bye